the video that demonstrates the capability of PV9250J. So PV9250J is receiving power from the power adapter. This is the DC input and it's it is powering on the Nuvo 5000 computer from its DC output terminal and there is a communication channel established from the Nuvo computer to the PB9250 through this COM port this is the COM port uh, connection it has to be connected to the COM1 and then there is one terminal which sends a signal like a, a power button signal to the computer and it's connected to the remote input remote input output of the Nuvo 5000 computer so uh, here's the firmware so this firmware is communicating with the PV9250J via RS2 RS232 communication and we can see over here on the firmware in order to make the video short I'm gonna do the user defined 30 seconds so that the Nuvo 5000 shuts down after 30 seconds as soon as I remove the DC input so removing the DC input is equivalent to a power cut of scenario so I'm going to remove the DC input so once I remove the DC input there is an alarm and then in the utility as we can see the voltage level drop to 0.14 and the capacitor energy is dropping down now right after the 30 seconds uh, there's a signal power button output and power button ground it's going to send a power button signal to the computer so that computer can achieve a soft shutdown which is equivalent to pressing the power button button there we go it's shutting down having a soft shutdown So it's soft shut down and everything goes back to the normal state and let's say the power comes back. Power comes back, as soon as the power comes back the same signal is going to send a power button signal to the computer and it's going to start the computer. It's equivalent, again it's equivalent to pressing the power button but everything's going automatically here. Let's say the power, com power comes back. Okay. As soon as the power reaches 100%, it's going to send a signal to the computer and then computer is going to start. So, yep, it booted up. Thank you.